Now, Boston Animal Shelter is under fire after deplorable conditions were found inside. New Center 5's Pam Cross is live outside the Rosendale Shelter where dozens of animals have already been moved. Pam? And three dozen in the worst shape were moved elsewhere for treatment, but the facility behind me still operating. They still have animals. They've just closed up for the day. We can no longer see the problems, and that's probably just as well. The cats now on dry bedding with ample food and water, they can move around. The dogs have clean cages and are getting more exercise. Ten days ago, the conditions were rough for animals that had already been through abandonment or, in some cases, abuse. Trouble at the shelter could have gone on for years. We have an opportunity to expand the shelter, and here we have a situation where animals are abused, neglected. Uh, we should be expanding the program, not not having to find what we found the other day. The acting shelter director was removed. John Meany is in charge of making things better. He said the staff was trying, but a lot of them haven't seen training or haven't had a staff meeting in years. The staff were, were, was kind of dead, and the animals were needed more attention. A big baby, I think, is going for adoption. A big baby, I think, is going out today. Care for animals does just not mean a couple of meals a day. It means so much more. It means uh, not just walking. It means playtime. It means it means assessing each animal's needs individually. And we're told 30 to 40 city workers from other agencies have been here helping out. So far, no one is willing to talk about how things got so out of hand. Reporting live in Roslindale, I'm Pam Cross, WCBB News Center 5.